welcome back to my 31 days of Halloween. If you don't know me, my name is Brittany and make sure to hit that subscribe button because I am filming every single day this month. It's going to be filled with paranormal games, creepy stories, creepy legends, and investigations. So you're not going to want to miss a single video. So we actually went to a Snyder's Lake. So Snyder's Lake is supposed to be haunted. It said that there was a woman who was murdered who haunts the grounds. And then on top of that, there is also a groundskeeper that has passed away that is said to still check the bathrooms at night. Now, unfortunately, we did want to investigate the lake, but most of the property surrounding the lake is all owned. So we can't really, like it was in a public beach or anything. There was a public beach, however, it was closed. So there was like gates across it and stuff. So unfortunately we could not go there. However, we did actually go and investigate a little bit the camp. Now the camp is owned by Catholic Charities and we didn't see any like do not enter signs, but we weren't entirely sure that we weren't supposed to be there, but there were no like do not trespass, do not enter signs anywhere. And it was completely open. Now there is this like creepy church there and like the entire property gave me a really eerie feeling, a very heavy feeling, very negative feeling. And yeah. it's weird because like that place is supposed to be owned by like it's a Catholic camp essentially. So it's weird that it was giving me such a negative energy. But I actually did do a spirit box session by the church. <clears throat> which was by far the creepiest building that we saw there. So I'm going to insert that footage here so you guys can see. Hey you guys, I don't have a light, but I do have a spirit box. I am by the church. Um, let's see what we get. Is anybody here? It just said, get out. I'm not kidding. It just said, get out. I'm pretty sure I just heard leave. Is, is, is anybody here by this church? Figures? What happened to you? Who are you? I just heard an old. Are you the old caretaker? Can my son see you? Guys, that's like, it's a pretty heavy, heavy negative energy here. I just heard we know. Okay, you guys, I'm going to wrap up this section just because Sebastian is not having a very good time. I think the negative energy is really overwhelming. So, definitely a little creepy and like... Yeah, it's a spirit box on my phone, which some people can be, like, you know, you never really know. But I've used the spirit box app a decent amount of times now. And not once have I been told to get out, to, like, leave. So I found that pretty eerie that that was, like, the first response. And it's this, like, church. It's a very negative energy. And I'm getting told to leave. So... Or 
to like get out or go away or whatever it was. But like Sebastian, we were driving into the camp and Sebastian instantly started crying. So that is how negative of an energy this place was. It was very instant that he started crying. So we weren't there super long because I don't wanna affect him too much at all, or I don't really wanna affect him at all. But it was definitely a very eerie experience. And looking back on the spirit box, I gave some eerie answers and it's actually the clearest that I have had that spirit box. So let me know what you guys think about it down below. Let me know if you guys caught anything that I missed. There were some that I thought it was something, but then I wasn't completely sure, so I didn't put it in there. So it's definitely possible that you guys could catch a ton of things that I missed, and I love hearing that from you. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. It would literally mean so much to me, you guys. Again, I am posting every single day for the rest of this month. So you don't want to miss a single episode. And I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.